Hello artists, today we're going to create a piece of art that's also a bit of a puzzle, a perplexing mystery you may say. All right, it's all about you and uh, let's get started. Uh, you have a template on your table and you're going to turn that paper over and write your name in the middle of the paper. Okay, and then you're going to add your table code. If you don't know what your table code is, then look down in the bottom right hand corner of the folder that's on your table. Now we've got six petals here. We need to come up with six facts about yourself. So I'm gonna write mine down so that I remember. If that helps you to do that ahead of time, then you can use the scrap paper or the edge of this paper to write your list um, just to help you along the way. Okay, so I have my different facts here about me. And then we're gonna draw a picture that relates to each of these facts in each of the petals uh, in our flower. All right, so once I've got my list written, I'm gonna put that aside where I can see it so I don't forget what it is I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with one petal. I'm gonna put in a clue for my first fact. Uh, my daughter's name is Lily. So instead of drawing my daughter, I'm just gonna draw a flower. That'll make it a little bit trickier. I have two cats, so I'm gonna add some sort of roly-poly cats because that's what my cats are um, on the next petal. And then I'm gonna fill in each petal with a different drawing. Pyramids for Egypt, a sunset, a suitcase, and a palette and paintbrush. I like to outline things, so I'm gonna go in with a zebra marker and do that uh, before I start coloring my paper. All right, so now we have six pictures that match our six clues. Now we're gonna put our name in the middle, but I don't wanna just make it easy for people. So I'm making the letters a little bit wonky. They're all connecting, and then I'm gonna outline those as well. You'll see what we're gonna do with them in a second. Once you've outlined everything, it's a good idea to take an eraser and erase any extra little pencil lines that might be on your paper. It just makes your work a lot neater. Okay, I'm gonna use some colored pencils to color in my drawing. I like to do that because you can layer the colors up with colored pencil. If you wanted to use marker, you could, but I think the colors are kind of nicer for this project with the colored pencil. Then I'm gonna color in the shapes that the letters in my name created. I'm not coloring in my the letters, I'm coloring in all those shapes. It makes it a little bit more tricky to read. Then we take our scissors and we carefully cut out our flower. Remember to turn your paper, not the scissors, it makes it a lot easier. And once we've got that all cut out, then you're gonna take them and fold those petals up along that dotted line, give them a nice little crease so that they stay folded if we want them to stay folded. All right, almost there. Now I'm gonna do something that I think will help a little bit to help people guess, but um, you don't necessarily have to do this. So on the back of my paper, I'm gonna write things like, I like to, I, um, I have lived in, or I have, uh, just sort of little starters to help with the clues. Once you've done that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them all up and then we are going to mix them all up and we'll pull them, pull one at a time out and we'll start with the clues. And as you open the clues, people can start guessing whose artwork it is. All right, I think this is gonna be fun and it's a great way to get to know you. All right, let's go forth and be brilliant.